Now let's add some text to this as if it's some sort of diorama. So if we put the text in here, you can see it would be slowly rotating around, and we don't want that. But we do want it to move around with this, so we need to link all this up. So let's add a null under the plane tracker, and then we want to grab the position of this, so we can click this little dot here, and we get the position from the plane tracker, but it's piped into this animation block. So on the null object, we can click the position dot and then connect this so that this null now follows where this looping animation block will be. And we can see that there, the null is moving along with it now. So if we right click on the null, we can add some text. Let's do 3D text. And let's move it up. Hit F to focus on it. And we can move it in front. And maybe off to the left side. Now for this first one, we can delete the placeholder text and insert current city. Now you can see it puts some code in here, but that just pulls the current city. And I am not in London, but Spark AR must default to London, I guess. Now you can see at the bottom it says, you're using a capability that is not supported by your target platforms. Let's see what this means. So in dynamic text, if we drill this down, we can see location is checked, but there's a red X over here. Unsupported by Instagram. So dynamic text, which is text that changes depending on where you are, what time it is, your altitude. This only works in Facebook. So to make this work, we should go to Edit Properties, Platforms, and Disable Instagram. That way, we won't get any error messages. And for this, we can only upload it to Facebook. Instagram doesn't support this, but it's still fun to play around with. So now we have our current city here. Let's put the date right below it. Let's duplicate this with Control D. Scoot it down. And then hit T for scale. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And in the text, let's change this to date short. Now we, we just get a text version of a date. Let's duplicate this again. Hit E for translation. Let's get this down here. And this one, let's just type in something. Meteorites. Oops. Meteorite sample scan. We'll duplicate this again. Move it down again. Just type in some more stuff. Mass. 350 kilograms. And let's make these bottom ones even smaller. This is more flavor text than anything. And then let's duplicate this bottom one one last time. Scoot it down. And for this one, let's just drop in a bunch of underscores. So now we get this kind of 3D horizontal line for free, just by using some text. And it's nothing fancy, but now we have this little kind of infographic that's attached to this asteroid. So as we move this around, that follows with it.